Here's 50 feet of chain. I got it off Craigslist for free. And there's more than 110 feet of Anchor Road. So total 160 feet. I've got some coal tar epoxy on the inside of this bottom part of the keel. Now I'm going to fold up the metal. One hundred and twenty pounds total of Mezcla de Concreto. This little trowel is working a lot better. I can get it into the cracks easily. Pack it in around the bolt points. This is it. I'm planning on removing these when the concrete is set enough to maintain its form. You'll notice that these rails have an indentation and so all the concrete is packed into there. If it were to try to fall out this way, it would have to compress in order to do that. And that's its main strength. Very strong that way, so I'm not worried about it. Plus, this will be folded over the top. It's got the strap putting pressure downward. Get a tack weld in there. And that's how the rest of it will go. Here's the current state of the bottom of the keel. A lot of mangled metal, but I'll try to make that right once I get the time. I got this wood stove in the summer, but it hasn't been safe to try it until now. With the doors closed, it seems to be behaving a little bit better. I'm not seeing the smoke out of here anymore. I got this for free. So I'd have to do some repairs. It has a door on the side so I can put wood in through there. Mm -hmm. Welded a new grate for it at the bottom. Welded that hinge on. Welded all the legs on. Here's what it looks like with some paint on it. My other wood burning heater slash stove option is this old propane bottle. I actually found this on the side of the road. Somebody had dumped it with a bunch of trash. So I can turn it into something useful. Here's where the wood gets loaded. This lets air in if I want more. Simple as that. This one will be in the shower area near the rear of the boat and this one will be in the galley area near the front of the boat. Started a fire in here and I'm gonna let it burn for like an hour or so so that the VHT paint can bond on there and cure. It's been burning for about 10 minutes this is the fire that has developed inside there. Handle's working. I can touch that, no problem. I can shut this more to, if I want it to get less air and therefore burn slower. But right now I just want it to burn hot. This is about the amount of wood that I put inside there. We'll see how long it burns. It's pretty much embers now, so I'm going to throw in some more wood. That much wood burned for half an hour. I'm still getting a lot of heat from it. Here's a third source of heat. It's a kerosene heater. You fill it up right here. Here's a gauge to tell you how much you've got left. This controls the wick. You can light it up with everything closed. So you push, first you turn the wick all the way up then you push this button, there's some batteries, 
that create a heating element which lights up the flame. I'm going to take this off of there just to show you the flame. And that burns all day on about a quart. It's actually very safe in the movies. You see kerosene lighting up a whole barn in seconds, but that's not true. You could throw a match into a pool of kerosene. It would not light on fire. It's just the vapors that burn, which is why you need the wick. Probably can't see it with all this light, but it will slowly heat up these elements inside there and create enough heat to keep the boat warm. It's Sunday and I'm looking for something to do that's quiet. So I'm going to insulate these panels, which will go against the wall over there with this material that I got for free on Craigslist. It's thin, but it's free. So we'll see how it works. What I'm hoping is that it will dull the sound of the engine and make it a lot quieter inside the pilot house when I'm running it. I'm going to use goop to apply the insulation to the paneling. That's just what I have available. The roads are all icy, so I don't really feel like going to the hardware store. Just dabbed it on. That's where I'm at so far. The panel on the left just has the sound deadening on the other side. And the panel on the right has it on both sides. Hopefully I'll be able to cover this. I just ran out of that material. So I'll have to put together a bunch of scraps of this material or get some more somehow. I'm putting these foam panels on with a spray adhesive and so far it seems to be working. This panel's on with the adhesive. Obviously this one is not yet. I ran out. I just had this sitting around so I wanted to try it out. I think I'll put all of the panels on but I'll have to order some more. Here's a shot of what the engine compartment looks like so far. That's it for the progress that I made in December of 2019. There was a lot of bad weather, a lot of snow. It slowed me down a bit, but that's okay. It's still fun. Happy New Year, everyone. See you next time.